The McGregor Police Department is asking for your help finding the person responsible for killing a father of two. Officials say 26 year old Kane Kemp was hit and killed while walking on the 2600 block of South SH 317 on Thursday night. A vehicle that's being described as a white 2005 to 2008 Ford F 150 swerved into the shoulder and hit him and then drove off. His wife is now begging for anyone with information to come forward. If you would have stayed, yes, I probably would still hate you, but I would have understood that you had the heart and mercifulness to say you did this to my husband. But since you left, you are cruel and you might be scared, but please, he has two kids and they deserve to know. Police were able to find evidence at the scene with a serial number on it, which is how they were pointed to the Ford F-150. Anyone with information is encouraged to call the McGregor Police Department. That phone number is on our website, kxxv.com. And if anyone else is looking to help this family, we have GoFundMe information on the KXXV mobile app. Meantime, the Colleen family of a Colleen man killed during the execution of a so-called no-knock search warrant on his home say police violated his civil rights. Family members say they are blaming police for the February shooting that led to the death of James Reed. A Texas Rangers investigation says the shooting started when Officer Anthony Custon started shooting in violation of orders and later tried to hide it. A Bell County grand jury later indicted him for evidence tampering. He quit the force and turned himself in. And while official reports have no details about who fired the fatal shot, the Reed family is holding police responsible. It starts at the top. I mean, and the chief knows every single thing that that is going on. The Reed family says they want an end to no knock warrants, a look at the police checklist and what they call the real facts about what happened. The Waco Police Department is warning people about car thefts. They say it's a growing problem in the community. This year alone, police say at least 141 vehicles have been stolen in different areas of the city. So far, officers have only recovered 91 of them. Police say car thefts are often crimes of opportunity, and this year they're property crimes that are occurring more and more often. A lot of the vehicles that are being stolen are uh, a situation where somebody is leaving their car running in their driveway or they are just leaving their keys in their car, running in the house, running into a business real quick at a gas station. To prevent being an easy target for thieves, Waco police recommend people always lock their vehicles and take their keys with them. Well, time now 635, which means Felicia Woody is back with us and you already said it. That sunrise is an indication of the beautiful day that's ahead. Yeah, pretty much we can say that if you wake up to the nice sunrise, it's going to be a pretty nice day. So, you know, normally people say sailor's warning when you see right in the morning, but it's not exactly going to be the case for today. We're actually going to be dealing with a pretty nice day as we go through the rest of our Saturday, but it's going to get hot. So this morning, if you need to take your exercises, go on your walks, go ahead and do it now because right now is the most comfortable time. Or if you're going to hit the pool, temperatures are currently in the 70s, still mostly.